Hey guys, it's me Scott here for another movie review. Today I will be reviewing No Time to Die, oh, which is the new James Bond movie. So this movie is basically the last one uh, featuring Daniel Craig. So after this movie, he's no longer in it, obviously. And if you watch the movie, you'll see why. I'm not going to give anything away. Now, this movie is about two hours and 37 minutes to me it felt like it was longer i don't know why it felt like it was like three hours it's a long played out movie so basically the storyline changes from the beginning to the end it's almost like two movies in one i know crazy right but yeah so basically it's yeah it's a good movie um i got to see it before it came out in theaters thanks Thanks to my IPTV, I got it for free. It was an excellent quality. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, so good movie. Um, I do like Daniel Craig as James Bond. I know like a lot of people, people don't like him. I thought that he brought something new to the role. I found that actually every single Bond actor, um, Sean Connery, Roger Moore... Pierce Brosman, they all brought something new to the role. And basically Daniel Craig brought a much more much more macho James Bond, I guess you could say, when like Pierce Brosman brought a lot more class, Roger Moore was a lot more funny. Same with Sean Connery. So basically there were different 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 eras of James Bond. And now, it will be interesting to see who actually takes over that role. So, there's been a few rumors. So, there is a rumor that they may possibly make uh, the new James Bond a black person. Which, honestly, I don't mind as long as they don't, don't make it into this, into this political thing where they push it. You know what? If the guy's talented, let him play James Bond. But yeah, so let's see what happens with that. Again, it's a good movie. It's 2 hours and 37 minutes. It drops in North America this Friday. I know that there is advanced uh, tickets on sale now if you go on to Cineplex. But yeah, guys, great movie. I'd probably give it about a 4 out of 5. I hope you guys go out and see it. All right, guys.